Well, today is our first visit to the established hives. You will probably install package bees like we did yesterday only once a year, and that is a unique experience. But you will be entering the hives on a much more regular basis, and you need to become familiar with the techniques for doing that. Always use a smoker when you're working with bees. Smoke calms them down and makes the bees a lot easier to work with. I use an old telephone book for kindling. Here in the south, we have a lot of pine straw. After the paper is burning well, I add some of the pine straw and keep puffing so that it catches on fire. After I have the pine straw burning, then I can start adding more and pack it in fairly tight. The objective is a cool, smoldering smoke. We need to check the queen and hopefully release her. When you're working on a hive, never stand in front of the entrance. You get in front of the bees in their flight path and it can irritate them. First, puff smoke at the entrance. Then remove the hive covers. Puff across the frames. And pull out the queen cage. Notice how the bees are attracted to her. If the bees are biting the wire of her cage, do not release her yet and wait another day. In this case, the bees are trying to feed the queen with their long tongue through the screen of her cage. And that is a sign that they are ready to accept her. So I'm going to release her simply by brushing off the bees and prying back her screen. You have to be careful when you do this because the queen can fly away. And she's gone down in. What we have now hanging on the cage are all workers. But they're still attracted to the cage because it still smells like the queen. At this point I'll just shake off the bees and discard the cage. Now that we have the queen cage out of there, we have room to put back in the tenth frame that we removed yesterday. I'll puff the bees just to calm them. And I'll scoot this frame gently over so I don't crush any more bees than I have to. And I'll slide back in the tenth frame so it is now back to its original ten frame condition. 
I replaced the inner cover. And the outer cover. This colony now has a free queen ready to start laying eggs. Now there's another method of releasing the queen, and if this is your first time, I recommend the second method. You see, the queen is young and nervous, and she's attracted to light, so she might try to fly away. So instead of pulling back the wire screen, you can also remove one of the corks and let the queen come out on her own. Now a queen cage has a plug of candy at one end and the other end with no candy, but there's a cork at both ends. Most people remove a cork on the end with the candy. This lets the workers on the outside eat through the candy and gradually release the queen. However, I prefer to remove the cork on the other end, since I've already determined that the workers are accepting the queen, and I want her released quickly. Now after a few minutes, you can come back and remove the empty queen cage. Our queen in colony one is dead. You have to expect to lose a queen from time to time. We'll have to order a new one right away. <laughs>